Welcome friends to this training video on immersion suit. In this video, I will guide you through the essential steps of donning and doffing the immersion suit on board, ensuring your safety in case of an emergency. But before we start, let me wear a helmet. And remember, whenever you are working on deck, you must have your helmet on. Let's understand why immersion suits are important. In cold water environments, immersion suits provide you buoyancy, thermal protection, and visibility, increasing your chances of survival. But not all immersion suits provide buoyancy and some of them require life jackets to be worn on top of them. So let's dive in to master the art of using these life-saving garments. Immersion suits are provided to each crew member on board and are generally placed in a cabinet marked inside the cabin. Additional immersion suits are also placed in ECR, bridge and other common working areas so that they are readily accessible. You should familiarize yourself with the locations of immersion suits on board your ship using an LSA plan which has the number and locations of all immersion suits that are placed on board. To wear the suit, pull out the suit from the bag and then lay it flat on the floor, ensuring the zip is open. Generally, the immersion suits are stored inside the bag with their zip open so that we don't lose time while wearing it. Before you wear your immersion suit, check that the immersion suit is appropriate for your size and weight. Check the label for recommended weight range to ensure a proper fit. The donning instructions are also posted on the immersion suit itself. Then take off your shoes and insert your legs one by one pulling the suit up. As the suit is not like a normal pant, so try to maintain the balance of your body while you are pulling the suit up. Then fasten the foot flaps tightly one by one for both your feet. This ensures free movement after wearing the suit without letting your foot slip under the suit. Then pull up the suit and insert your non-dominant hand inside. Next, pull up the head cap using your dominant hand. Then insert your dominant hand in, ensuring the suit is snugged to your body properly. Then you can make necessary adjustment for comfort. Next is to hold the zip end with your non-dominant hand and pull up the loop of the zip using dominant hand. But be careful not to zip over your nose skin. Thereafter, close the face flap tightly. Then perform a quick safety check ensuring the immersion suit light and vessel are in place. Immersion suits cover the entire body except the face and are made of waterproof material with insulation that reduces loss of body heat of the wearer in water. They are so designed that a person can wear it within two minutes without assistance and provide sufficient mobility to permit the wearer to perform all duties associated with abandonment, including assisting others and operating a rescue boat. When a person jumps into calm circulating water of two degrees Celsius from a height of four and a half meter, dressed in immersion suit, the body core temperature will not fall more than 2 degrees centigrade even after 6 hours and there won't be any ingress of water. But you should always avoid jumping into water if you can enter through a ladder or other means. It is designed to not sustain burning or continue melting after being totally enveloped in a fire for a period of 2 seconds. So sailors, that covers the crucial aspects of immersion suit on board. Equipping you with the knowledge to respond in an emergency effectively. And before I conclude, let's cover the key points once again. Remember, when donning an immersion suit, speed and precision are equally important. Ensure a snug fit so that it provides you proper thermal insulation and buoyancy. Check your immersion suits regularly and replace if there are any damages. Stay calm in case of an emergency and use your whistle and light to attract attention. So that concludes this training video on immersion suit. I'm sure you found it interesting and must have learned a thing or two. Always remember, once you go on board, you should familiarize yourself with the immersion suit that is kept inside your cabin 
see if it's of your size see it's not damaged and familiarize yourself how to wear it because that's what going to help you in case of an emergency thank you for joining me in this video stay safe stay afloat and may your knowledge be your lifeline in case of an emergency until next time take care